Ben Hinchliffe in goal. The back four tonight of Dan Cowan, Michael Clark, and Jamie Stott. Two holding midfielders, Jimmy Ball and Harry Winter. And then it's uh, Adam Thomas down the right, Rhys Turner down the left, Matty Warburton in the hole behind Jason Oswell. Subs Ian Ormson, Paul Turnbull, Sam Minihan, Darren Stevenson, and Stephen O'Halloran. No Gary Stockworth. He has joined FC Colm today on a free transfer. And Boston now with a chance to spring a counter-attack. It's come off the back of the centre-forward Thompson. They'll say that was good control. And he's doing well here. Reese Thompson inside the penalty area, teed it up on the far side for uh, Wafula. Seemed to hesitate a little bit there, Wafula, and that allowed Duxbury to pick his pocket. And now Duxbury's brought it up to the halfway line himself. A really open start to this game. Turner now coming in off the left touch line. Turner into the middle, finds Massey Warburton. Not the best first touch, but the second one's decent. Gets it out from under his feet. Shoots left-footed. The keeper's right behind it, but a lovely counter-attack from the Hatters. Duxby takes left-footed towards... Ball! Oh, he's so unlucky! Neil Sims, courtesy of the Stockport County Supporters Cooperative, is our co-commentator for tonight's game. Thanks to Billy Byrne and the guys at the co-op for helping us out this season. Here's Duxby now, again down this left-hand side, running at the full-back, taking him on and getting his cross in towards Oswell! Over the bar, he's very unlucky, he had to improvise there and use his left foot. And he's going to hit this one, right footy round the wall and the keeper makes a good save. Made it look easy there, John Stewart gathered that at the near post, but it was on target. Still goalless and Ben Hinchliffe's in a hurry. Hinchliffe fires it upfield, looking for... Reese Turner, but he's a very unlucky player there. The ball's been cleared back into the county half, and this could be the chance Post have waited for. It's a good shot, and it wasn't too far wide. Quality with the clearance up to halfway. Beasley moves back to goal, chests it down for Hemmings. Hemmings drifts away from Harry Winter. Winter still snapping at his heels to try and win it back. Hemmings, though, still on the ball on that left-hand side. Winter's still there to try and make life difficult. Did enough to put him off, but it's Boston who emerged in possession. <laughs> well, oh, Brad Abbott there has tried to switch the play from right to left, and he smashed the ball into the side of his colleague's head, Jamie Maguire. Maguire went down as if he'd been landed with a, a haymaker. <laughs> he just crashed to the deck. And the county fans are complaining because the referee has stopped play for a head injury. Well, I've never seen that before. Well, Dan Powell, if you're listening over there, 36 minutes. You just need to uh, mark that when you're uh, editing the video later. We'll have a look at that. That was brilliant. And again, he's taking his time. He's moved the ball half an inch to the left there, much to the annoyance of the county fans. In fact, he shouldn't have put it down and picked it up at all. So... Uh, the, the, the referee, you know, under the rules, if, if you've been uh, fussy about it. Anyway, he's uh, cleared it now and County have won it back. Turner, midway inside the opposition half, on the left-hand side again is the ever-willing Duxbury. Duxbury again taking on Wafula. Wafula goes to ground, the cross comes in from Duxbury to Oswell! Just over the bar, Jason Oswell went close, the keeper got his fingertips to it. He's urging Cowan forward, Jimmy Ball forward. There's only Clark staying back here with uh, Duxbury who takes Oswell. Well, it wasn't a bad header, that. A little cushion header back towards the, the D, and there was nobody there. And that's exactly what Jim Gannon wanted. He wanted players supporting there to, to get forward. Oswell again holds it up well, but uh, this time dispossessed by Qualter. Can't have it back with Clark. That's a lovely ball. Michael Clark floats it out to the wing. And he's there again. Reese Turner running at the uh, fullback. Support from Duxbury crosses. Oswell looking for the overhead kick. The referee's given a, a free kick for uh, the high boot from Jason Oswell. Very Gareth Rhodes in the free kick. Still nil nil. Again, look at the time he's taking. And he's moved it to the wrong place. This is all, he knows he's put it in the wrong place because it's all part of his time wasting. Now he's having to move it back. This is exactly what John Stewart wants. 
Yeah, and he's still moving it back. The Boston players at... No, it's just all part of the time wasted. Now he's moved it forward again when the referee wasn't looking. Boston enjoying a little spell of pressure here. They've got another throw in, which will be launched in. By, uh, the right back has been missed by two county defenders and somehow bounces into the arms of Ben Hinchley. The two blue shirts went for the same ball. It's unbelievable. It was Warburton and Duxbury, wasn't it? Both went for the same ball, but uh, Hinchliff gathers it safely. Now the clearance from Hinchliff. The control from Turner. The chance maybe to play it out to the left-hand side. He's done exactly that. Warburton can cross from here. Whips it in towards the near post. It's volleyed clear by the centre-half, Walter. Warburton, though, will get another chance to play it into the box. He's running at the defender here. Warburton inside the area, pulls it back from the dead ball line. It's loose on the edge of the six-yard box. Comes out now to Jimmy Ball to strike it, deflected and wide. The goalkeeper makes a wonderful save. First time he's really been able to do that tonight. Again, it's uh, Rhys Turner to take. It's poor delivery. Doesn't clear the man on the front post. Criminal. Winter plays it back out to the wing. He's massively overhit that one. Well, nothing quite going County's way as we approach the hour mark. Still nil-nil. And now John Stewart is down, claiming he's injured. Jim Gannon is going to make a substitution shortly. Darren Stevenson, hasn't he? Maybe that misplaced pass by Harry Winter might be the end of his night. Well, this uh, alleged injury to John Stewart, it, it, this is just Boston killing time. They've just had a, an almighty scare at that end of the park. Uh, you, uh, somehow, Stewart managed to turn the ball around the post. It was a terrific save. And now he's going to uh, try and use up as much time as possible, receiving treatment for uh, what is surely a mythical shoulder or Prep back down the line, hasn't it? Oswell chests it down for Turner. Now Warburton's in space on the left. Not the best of balls from Reese Turner. He's forced Warburton wide, but he'll keep it alive for County. He's got support on the edge of the box now from Duxbury, who drills it in, blocked on the edge of the six-yard box. Comes to Jimmy Ball to drive it in. It's blocked by Brad Abbott this time, cleared by Qualter up to halfway. But there's Paul Turnbull to try and win it back to County. That's got the fans going at the cheat end. Whipped in by Jimmy Ball. Wonderful cross. And one defender out of the box. It's along the deck this time, it's come all the way through, it's driven in, but uh, well, it's Michael Clark with the shot. Adam Thomas to take, right-footed, whips it in, comes off a Boston head, goes all the way through to Clark, who can't, tries to keep it alive, edge of the box, on the half volley, dipping effort from Warburton, excellent save from Stewart. Adam Thomas forced wide, but he still kept it in. Thomas now will cross again. This time the target is stopped, doesn't quite reach him, comes out to Cowan on the edge of the area, but the fool is there first to make the clearance. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Well, County are knocking on the door, they just can't quite get in. effort from uh, Matty Warburton in the midst of all that, batted away by goalkeeper John Stewart to keep the score sheet blank at nil-nil. Midway through the second half then. Just uh, 22 and a half to play. There's still plenty of time for County, who are getting into the ascendancy, but without really stretching John Stewart. He did make a Good save, it was a fairly routine save a few moments ago from Warburton. It was too hot to handle though. Again, County not making the most of the second ball. John Stewart wasting so much time. You can hear the fans getting frustrated. And now Dave Conlon's having a word with the linesman about the time wasting that's going on. This has actually been going on since the first minute of the game. But Boston with their two well organised banks of four to keep them out so far. Oswell tussling for the ball. Brogan. Well, in the end, it was a foul by Oswell on Maguire. Jim Gannon not happy that he's conceded the free kick. No fouls, shouts the manager. 
And again, John Stewart in no hurry to take the free kick. He is doing exactly that. He's enjoying it, actually, John Stewart, isn't he? Making the, uh, getting the fans uh, irritated, winding them up. It's the kind of thing that uh, you do get the hump, don't you, when you see goalkeepers come here and do this. Jimmy Ball missed his header, Michael Clark made the clearance, it's come straight back though, Jimmy Ball's there to meet it though, gets it away, up to halfway now, Jason Oswell has got the better of the defender, and it's two against one as county break, Oswell, oh, he's made a mess of it. Stevenson on the left, let's uh, have a look, yeah. Adam Thomas heads the ball forward. Turner down the line, Stevenson first touch down the right wing at the moment, he's taking on the defender, his cross is deflected into the arms of Stewart, Ryan Qualter again made the block, and John Stewart again, the county fans barracking him as he holds on to the ball for an absolute eternity, Matty Warburton now making the point to the referee about the time wasting but said nothing at all been done about it. Because Chorley are winning, I mean they move above County in a live league table. They're 3-1 up now against Spennymore. So it looks as though they're going to get all three points. And that will move them above the Hatters if it stays like this. Here's Stevenson down the left wing, comes out to the edge of the box. The shot, well, spoons into the arms of the goalkeeper who dives on it again to waste more time. John Stewart's enjoying himself at the Cheadle end, winding up the County fans even more. Hinchley up towards the lively Reese Turner who glances it on, pushing though. Just uh, nudged Abbott in the back, free kick to Boston United. Watch Stewart now amble away from his penalty area to take this one. And the referee's making it quite pointedly, but he's adding the time on here. Dave Conlon speaking to the linesman about the time wasted. And the referee now is speaking to Stewart who's pretending to limp. I'll, I'll tell you what, he's pretending to limp, but it, I bet he takes this free kick. And it's not, if, cheating's too strong a word for it, but it's gamesmanship of the worst order. Yeah. It's got to be a yellow card, it's, it's the obvious thing to do. But unfortunately, with five minutes to play, it's not going to make any difference even when he does book him out. County throw, left side, Duxbury to take. Duxbury in a hurry. Finds Turnbull, back to Duxbury. Immediately closed down by Benny Igihon. Plays it up to Jimmy Ball. Laid off to Warburton, who's in a deep line position at the moment. Warburton. Here's Stevenson down the left wing, yet to make a real impact on the game since coming off the bench. Can't get a shot away here. Stevenson, it's opened up for him on the left side of the box. He's bundling his way through the challenges. Duxbury's cross towards Oswell. It's there! Turned in from three yards out by Matty Warburton, who leaps into the Cheadle end to celebrate what could be a massive goal for County. In the live league table, the Hatters are in the playoffs. Warburton in dreamland, County lead 1-0, and the negative tactics of Boston United have come back to haunt them. It's County 1, Boston 0 with four and a half to play. I'll, bet, War, I'll tell you what, Warburton's going to get booked here for celebrating, and yet he's taken no action of the goalkeeper. Shambolic refereeing. Street will take, looking at the options left and right, throws it to the left and finds Stevenson down the line, Stevenson back to Duxbury, Duxbury now, will he get the cross in again, he's gone behind the goal, he's got the deflection, it is a corner to County, Jimmy Ball by the way has been named the sponsors man of the match, and John Stewart, John Stewart the goalkeeper is running to fetch the ball, it's got the biggest cheer of the night and the ball boy brilliantly flicked it away from him. Look at him running with the ball. This is, it is funny. You've got to say that's funny. John Stewart is, <laughs> he's been time wasted since the first minute. 
Boston United have been the most negative team I have seen in a long, long time here at Esley Park. A miscue from Greg Smith. Turnbull wants it to run out for a throw in. It wouldn't go, so he keeps it in. Oswell, clash of heads, edge of the box, but it comes out to Jimmy Ball to drive it just over the bar. It stays 1-0 to County. <laughs> John Stewart and two uh, of the fans having a go at him there. Got to be careful, the county fans, not to get too over exuberant at the Cheadle end there. It's cleared by Duxbury up towards halfway. Maguire's there to volley it back where it came from. Edge of the county penalty area. Great play again from Jimmy Ball, the sponsor's man of the match. Fires it up to halfway. Warburton, the lone striker at the moment. Stewart, the goalkeeper, fires it back where it came from. He's in a hurry. Smith with the flick on. Igihon, can he get on the end of it? The answer's no. It's well defended by Jamie Stott. And then smashed away for a throw-in. And John Stewart, the goalkeeper, has sprinted outside of his box. I think he's even thinking of taking the throw-in. In the end, he leaves it. Back into his own half, and it's uh, glanced on by Warburton. Oswell will chase, the now fit again John Stewart sprints outside of his area to clear, up to Greg Smith, it's a foul by Smith, a really clumsy challenge, by our watch time is up, the added five have been played, John Stewart again sprinting to the halfway line, Jim Gannon ironically applauding the Boston keeper for his bravery, playing on through this <laughs> dreadful pain that he appeared to be in earlier on in the night, Oh, what a legend. Free kick county, Ben Hinchliffe to take. And he's turned himself into a pantomime villain tonight, John Stewart. It's a bit embarrassing in fairness. Cleared by Keane into the county half. Halloran's there to mop up for the Hatters. And there goes the whistle, County are back in the playoff places tonight. Jim Gannon punches the air in delight. He's got a 1-0 win tonight against one of the most negative sides ever to come to Edgeley Park. From the first minute of the game, Boston were looking for a 0-0, but in the end, Matty Warburton popped up five minutes from time to secure the three points for the Hatters this evening. What a massive three points as well, as it takes County into the playoff places for the first time since September. It'll be a night that will live long in the memory. It's a game that probably won't, but the antics of John Stewart and the time-wasting of Boston was just embarrassing to watch at times. Thankfully, football, as well as County, has been the winner tonight, Neil Sims.